howdy hi welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing this zen doodle today uh, this piece is actually done on a piece of watercolor paper sometimes I will do uh, watercolors pastel um, colored pencils and then I'll do the zen doodle on top of that <music> But, um, so if you're thinking that has a couple weird colors in there, it does. We will be working on a three and a half inch square today. This one is watercolored on that side, but I'm just going to use the blank side. I'm still house sitting across town and am missing a few things to be doing this, but we're going to improvise a, an eraser, a pencil, a smudge stick, whether you roll up a piece of paper or um, really tight and use that to smudge out, or if you can use your finger or you can use a Q-tip. I prefer Q-tips, but this is a good fix because again, I don't have my normal tools here with me. Um, I like a fine line marker for this, a fine line Sharpie uh, to start out with. Then when I go and I do the thicker lines on this, I usually will go to a thicker type marker, not like one of those big fat, fat Sharpies, but if you have a marker laying around, um, you can probably fill in one of those. You don't have to, it's just uh, less time consuming. If you're using a ballpoint pen or a gel pen, you can use those too. It's just gonna, like I said, take a little bit longer for filling in the lines. Two, you wanna make sure that it all dries, you know, you're not sticking your fingers in it and getting it to smudge. I'm only going to say that one time. I know I'm, I know I repeat that often during my videos. That's a lot of ink to be working in one three and a half inch square and an eraser because we will be erasing. We've got a little bit of shading going on in these sides. Uh, we're doing this Zen Doodle because it's good practice for what's coming later in the week. Later in the week, I will be doing these peace signs and we want to put it as a backdrop. So we're going to practice that first and then we will do our masterpiece. I think I'll probably upload that video um, Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday. So let's get started, shall we? Let me zoom in and I'll be right back. As always, when we start, I like to take a moment to... Come into our space, leave all of our problems behind, take a deep breath, exhale all the worries we have about the coming week, things that might have occurred over the weekend. This time, this space is meant just for us. We're going to come into the room. Take another deep breath and just enjoy this time for yourself. Leave all the worries at the door. All right. So with our pencil, I would say because this gets a little, uh, going out all the way to the edge is not always a wise move with this one. So we're just going to make a little square. It doesn't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make mine a little unperfect and come down. This is just going to create a crazy little border. I'm working on a TV tray. So if the camera bobbles, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're just going to make our center point in there. Um, you can do it imaginary or you can actually draw one in. But we're going to take a piece and we're going to run a line straight across. We're going to run another line straight across. Then you're going to go from corner to corner. And corner to corner. When you, so you're just practicing and learning something here, but when you go to do your practice pieces, try working with just random uh, lines. You don't have to go, it's just easier for me to tell you guys to go across, across, cross, cross. 
you can expand your horizons or get on the wild side and just do like one off this way, one off that way, one this way. You know, you can just do it kind of wonky if you want. So don't be afraid to think outside the box. Now, please note that this is not perfect. See, I'm not directly on that dot with my lines. So what? Who cares? All right. What we're going to do is we are going to make a frowny face in one of our sections like so. We're going to make another frowny face going up. So these lines, they don't have to be uniform, you know, precisely the same width, just in the neighborhood. Okay. Another one, another one, and another one. You're going to skip a section and you're going to make another frowny face. And again, you want all these to be kind of in the same neighborhood as the same size, but they don't have to be precisely the same size. So don't get all weirded out about that. Skip a section and do another frowny section. Frowny face, frowny face, frowny face, frowny face. Yeah. And then skip one more section and do the same thing. You overachievers, if you can do this in pen, go right ahead. I'm just doing it in pencil in case anybody's working with me and they screw up and need to change something. So now with these remaining sections, we're going to do happy faces. And what we're going to do is we're going to match up these lines with the happy face like so. Okay. See how those lines are all meeting. Okay. Go on to the next one. The very last one, happy face, happy face, happy face, and happy face. Now that's kind of an imaginary stick. Okay, so your piece should look a little something like this. Now that all of our pencil work is done and we don't want to change anything, it's time to go in with your marker, pen, whatever you're using and go in and go over all these lines and then uh, erase. Okay, I'll be right back. So we're back and here we have um, just like the rough draft. This is essentially what we're working with right now is just going to be the rough draft portion of our artwork. So don't be too weirded out if you got lines that are kind of wonky, you know, don't worry about it. Because by the time we get all the ink on here, it's going to be a totally different totally different piece of paper. Okay. So now what we're going to do, uh, this is something I do because when I get to working, I kind of just lose myself in thought, but, um, I want to go in and we are going to alternate lines, black, white, black, white, but also next to it, you're going to alternate those lines. So if this line's white, that one will be black. If that one's black, that one will be white. It's a lot, so I just like to put little reminders for me in here about which sections I'm going to be making black, okay? So if you are a superstar and you think you can do that and keep track, go for it. I know myself and know that I cannot, so that's why I do the reminders because it totally stinks when you get all the way over here and you realize, oh, I've, I've screwed up. I gotta go back and do it over again. So I'm just going to take a moment to do my reference points. That's white, this will be black. Double check everything, so that's white, black, white, black, white. Got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So this is a really very easy Zen doodle. Okay. It essentially at this point just becomes a time 
crunch for coloring all these little areas in. So I am not going to have you watch me do any of that uh, because it's, you know, fairly easy process and you do not need to listen to me talk for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> it's just very easy. You just go along and darken in your dark sections. And then when we're done, we are going to come back and I will show you some shading that we will add to kind of bring this into a 3D kind of feel. But you can see what I'm doing. See that there was a little mark there that wasn't, that line wasn't brought in straight together with the, the following line on the other side. That's cool. I just colored right on over it. So no big deal. I will remind you to be careful of your breathing. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Make sure your posture is good. You're not getting any kinks in your neck, tweaks in your back. We want to leave better than we came in. Sometimes when I'm doing these part, these um, pieces here, I will go and do the edges with my fine line pen, and then I will come in with a marker and do my larger sections. Just come in. It will save you a little bit of time, and it will save your fine line marker a lot of ink. <laughs> Okay, so just do that. Make all your dark spaces dark and I am going to shut out the camera and I will be back with you in moments. Hit that pause button and when you're done, we'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, isn't it exciting when it all comes to together? I love it. You know, when you look at it with pencil, you're like, oh yeah, right? What is this going to do? But then when you start working on it and you see everything coming together, it's like, wow, that is some cool beeswax right there. Now that we have that all done, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and put down our shading, our graphite shading. I don't know. Can you kind of see it in there? I usually like to, I don't do all the lines, uh, all the cones, I should say, because I feel that, you know, there's light and their shade and not everything is going to have the shade. So I usually take the frowny lines because the, the ones that are lifting up, they seem to be coming up off the paper naturally. So I'll come in and I'll pick the ones that are frowny and I'll put in my graphite lines on the sides right here, like so. And I just go in and I skip that one and then I come in and I do this one. I've seen some people who shade each and every cone. You can do that too. Um, it's all just a matter of preference and what you're going to call in the moment. We're not coloring or shading at this point. We are just laying down some graphite to work with. Uh, Next, hopefully yours looks a little bit like this. Then you're gonna take your smudge stick uh, or your Q-tip or even your finger and you're just gonna go in and on these sides and you're gonna buff that out. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take that line and it's gonna smudge it out and make it all kind of smoky, smoky looking. And I'm sorry, I know this table is moving the camera all over the place. <laughs> sorry. I'll try not to move it. You can stay right outside the line there, or you can bring it all the way into the center. Whatever your preference is. I'm going to stop the camera so I don't bobble you to death. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you've done every other um, if you want, you can go in and erase a little bit down that center line to get it nice and white. Makes it pop a little bit more. So that's what it looks like with every one of them. 
every other one of them done. I'm going to go in, I think, and do all of them. I want to see how that is. But uh, yeah, because I've always just done every other one. But now I'm feeling a little inquisitive. That's the beauty of art. So I'm going to do these in here as well. And I'm going to see if that detracts or makes it better. Don't worry about getting, like we can erase all that business. And also I'm going to go and bolden that border up a little bit after I'm done shading. So don't worry if you get pencil markings outside those lines. Because I really just kind of dig this whole shading business. I kind of just go crazy with... I don't really care where it goes because I know I have the power of the eraser. Another cool thing I always do as an artist, because um, I was just sitting here thinking, am I going to like it better with all of them shaded or just the every other one and I'd love to sit here and say I can tell you looking at it right now but a lot of times I have to take pictures of my work and then stand back and look at it for some reason your work will always look differently in a photograph than it does right there in front of you it's crazy just the perspective that it will give you Again, I'm just kind of cleaning out the centers, giving myself a little defining things. And then I'm going to come around and clean up these outside lines. And I have not looked in the Dollar Tree if they have these kind of rubber erasers. These I got at, gosh, I don't know, probably Hobby Lobby maybe? Oh yeah, Hobby Lobby. But I like these gummy racers. Of course, I wait for the sale, 62 cents. They're just, I don't know why, they just pick everything up better. And if I'm dealing with things that have ink, if I do a pencil drawing and then I wanna do pen work over it, I never have a problem with putting pen over the top of this because it doesn't leave like a residue on your paper. So maybe look and see if they have the gummy erasers that the dollar store I'm you know when I do these classes I try and think of keeping them as cheap as possible because that's the whole point I mean you could you know spend a hundred dollars and come to my house and do a pottery class but then you'd have to buy a bunch of stuff these tutorials are set up so that you can use just anything you have in your house and pull it off that my friends is that so I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to do a border real quick, clean up that border, make it nice and thick, and I will be right back. So there is my thicker border. And um, that is our piece right there. Do I like it with all of them done or some of them done? Like I said, I'll have to go back and look at photos of them. But if anything, I just dig it. I think that's super cool. It's just a great little optical illusion. And it's really easy. I, I've been, I know that Cosmic Pebble video was a little intense because of all the dots and whatnot. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys something fairly easy to do, something you could zone out doing. I know it's a lot of ink, but it's definitely well worth it in the end. And like I said, we are going to take it and use it in the background for our peace signs. So I wanted to get you guys acclimated and used to it before I lay all this on you. That's our Zen Doodle for the day. Uh, the next one is going to be, we're going to be doing these borders right here. It's just going to be a short one to teach you the borders. And then we will go into doing the main piece. But uh, for today, that's the Zen Doodle. Thank you so much for joining me here. I appreciate it. You can hit that subscribe button and get a notification every time I upload a video. And um, that's it. I hope you're feeling relaxed and that you enjoyed it. I'm going to bid you adieu, wish you a splendid evening, and I will talk to you soon. Peace, love, and rocks. Bye, guys. 
and thanks for putting up with the bobbles. <laughs> Ba-ba-doo-doo-doo.